Welcome to a shortcut to better UX with shortcut keys. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, a simple way of you know, improving your users' productivity is to give them, give them ways to perform uh, often used operations faster. Um, and for s lots of users, including myself, um, one of the you know the low hanging fruit is to um, to give them a shortcut key, give them a way to access something fast, and um, we can do that in uh, in Ale also. We can do that um, quite quite easy actually. So let's uh, let's let's try to create some shortcut keys. Uh, let's see. Here is this is doing code. And um, well, what can you actually give a shortcut key to? You can give a shortcut key to an action. Um, so so we can, I think I'm working on the item card here just to mix it up. Uh, so we can do a add last in processing, for instance. Uh, we will create a test action here. Wow, let's see if I can, I'm able to type anything. Um, caption equal test and trigger on action hello so if we deploy this thing see if we can deploy it here we go um, now if, if a user needs to use this they probably need to locate it somewhere right in more actions and then perhaps in actions related uh, somewhere here. And, and maybe if any can find it, let's say, well, actually I think I can't find it. Did you yell at the screen? Um, so with, you know, with the whole application area thing, that that with on uh, on Business Central BC whatever twenty three twenty two, where you could specify a uh, application area for the object, and then controls on uh, on that object will all get the same. You can't really do that on a page extension. Um, there is no way to say application area up here. Uh, so everything so you ha actually have to put it here so let's try it again now that we have an application area on this action let's see so there it is um, and and this is this is of course somewhat user-friendly I guess this is it, it's you know it's findable and 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 there is still a a productivity tip in that you can you can search on a page and it will find actions um, but but we can do better and we can do better by exactly adding a shortcut key so shortcut key um, and we could say so here you can do you you, you, you can have modifiers. So we got control, alt, um, delete. That wasn't really the plan before I started this video, but now we kind of have to try it and see what happens. I will probably break windows. Let's see. Control, alt, delete. Sense of black. I guess we couldn't do that. I'm, I'm I have no idea how that looked on, on the recording, but uh, let, let's those so control alt uh, and a U for instance. And, and what you can try and let's see control alt U just right now that doesn't do anything on the page right now. So let's try it out here. So control alt U, we'll deploy this. see control all you there you go hello um, so 
it's a pretty easy so if we go up and create stock keep you no 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 I, I don't even know what a stock keeping unit is uh so the problem here is that you can see directly and then if you you press alt and then you do x a uh, and and b but that's the alternative way of navigating but i don't think there is other than in the tooltip we can see the tooltip actually shows the shortcut key uh, so it, it's not that discoverable um from a from a ux perspective another issue you might run into so let's do if i go back here and then i do control u it gives me the source code of the page so that's a that shortcut key is already used by uh, by the browser if we look at the documentation um, it says that the shortcut keys that you set with this property have precedence over the default shortcut keys of the web browser that you're using and that they will override their behavior let's see because I find that not always to be the case. So control U. Control U. Let's see. Do we get the source code or do we get our action here? Control U. We get the source code. And the action was not called. So this does not seem to be true. Um, one thing that... that and now interesting so now it worked control u so if i am depending on you see that okay so if i click here so that that's a mouse click in in so so the page have somewhat focused here then control u works if I click up here, control U doesn't work. Um, I, I've been in, in one of my other apps. I really wanted a control S for, for save, uh, uh, for something else. Um, and I had a hard time avoiding the, the save as a dialogue. Uh, and it, it, it seemed random so let's actually let's actually change this to control s just to check that out so if i'm on the page here i do control s that works here i click up here control s gives us this one so so it seems that the so, so the way web web page works is that they're kind of little layers and 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 there is a hierarchy in in the in the dom of the page and the key presses are the key events are registered and at certain levels uh so we're if we're not at a level where there's a a a listener for for keys then it the keystroke go to the browser and it seems that perhaps microsoft are adding these in the, in the in the wrong spot i don't know um so alt q opens to tell me so what happens if we instead of overriding the browser go overriding business central which you shouldn't do so i click on the good spot we know this is the good spot uh, and then i click alt q So I get tell me. What if I click up here? So okay. So no matter what, I cannot override the built-in. Uh, so sometimes I can override in browser action. What if we have two action? Let's let's try another thing. So let's go back to Control U. So you you you, you separate with pluses. Um, Actually, we need to do one more for it. What is shortcut key just U? Can we do that? How does that work? 
I hit U. That does not work. Interesting. Um, okay, so go, let's go back to Control U. And what I wanted to do is create two actions. Uh, can I give two actions the same shortcut key? Looks that way. So this is the good spot. I have clicked there, control U. I get the first one, control U, always get the first one. Up here, maybe. No, I get the source code. Um, what if it's just a straight up F key? So F F six uh, doesn't do anything here in the browser. So let's deploy this one with F six. I click on the good spot. That does not do anything. It almost seems like, like with the U. So what if I do Control F6? Does it? Does there have to be a modifier on the, on the shortcut key? Control F6. That works. But straight F6. Let's go back to the documentation for a second here. Or the lag of maybe to be more precise. It's kind of interesting. I'm not able to do F6 just. But hang on, there's certain. If I go to. Okay. is Maybe there's an issue with F6 because clearly if I go to the. Go to a. Uh, sales order and search for F9 shortcut key F9 right so why am I not allowed to do F6 unless something is so if I do F9 here Now I haven't clicked on it, just want to try F9, that works. Click here, that works. Click here, that doesn't work. This is the magic spot, right here. That's, it's kind of weird. Um, anyway, um, that's shortcut keys. Uh, you should use them. Uh, don't misuse them. Uh, but give your users a uh, a shortcut. Uh, I really wanted to do a, a Lord of the Rings uh, reference with shortcut to mushrooms, but I I didn't. I did not come up with a good way of of doing that. Anyway, give your users a way to access those often used functions. Uh, more and more in an easier way. One thing that I would love to be able to also, but I know that's completely off code, is that if you have you have placed a label um, on on uh, on, the, on the page as you know, so it kind of comes a link. Uh, be able to give that a shortcut, but uh, I guess that's out of scope right now. Anyway, thank you so much for. Uh, for checking out this video. Here's another one, some proper AL hacking. Well, this was also AL hacking. Uh, I'll see you there. Take care, bye.